because 40 degrees during the summer, trying to dinner with that sun. I think so. Mexico, de mi yeah, Me Mexico. This is the reason why I think all the Spanish moms they turn crazy, running <laughs> all the time. Yeah, I mean. Hello, my name is Andrea and I'm from Spain. Hello, my name is Shannon and I'm from the US. About Spain specifically, not so much, but I do know about like the running with the bulls, for example, some of the traditional clothing, definitely some Spanish food influence. I do have a lot more familiarity with Latin American kind of Spanish. Spain is a, an amazing country because languages, also the food is really, really good. The seafood and the fish, oh my God, it's so delicious. It rains a lot, but it's really green and beautiful. And it's a very active culture, I think, yeah. active and everyone's moving. No. no, I don't think so. Mexico, de mi yeah, Me Mexico, sí. No way. Taco and burrito is like Mexico. I th when I think Spain, I think seafood more so. Like, yeah. But when I think tacos and burritos, I definitely think Mexico. Yeah, for actually, sure. many people confuse the Mexican tortilla that is a corn, Spanish tortilla that is with potatoes and, and egg. Potatoes? Yeah. Whoa, I didn't know it's, that. It's like these and is uh, fried potatoes. You mix the egg and after you fry everything and it's, a, it's round. That sounds incredible. It's, it's good. That I think it's good. one of the dishes that everybody likes mm. because the uh, flavor is not so strong. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No. No I, uh, I actually studied, I was a dance minor in college and one of the things that we studied was like uh, Latin American dance, we also studied Afro-Brazilian and things like that. Wow. So I, I kind of learned a little bit about the differences with this one. Yeah, flamenco is, is definitely prominent in Spanish culture, but it's not everyone dancing all the time. Like, yeah. Yeah, and it's a very technique dance. Yeah, so very technical. No. No. <laughs> no, like, I, no, I didn't have the chance to learn, so mm. it's a pity. But I like it to see it. <gasps> oh! No! Oh, really? Somebody assumed that? Oh, no. I would like it, but no. <laughs> I, I would like it because I could visit easy, yeah, easy way or our friends from Latin America, but no. Adios mio. No way. We, we are in, in Europe. I feel like this is basic geography. I want to have a conversation with whoever wrote this in Google. Well, but sometimes happens. I have one worse. Mm. I had been asked for a person that speaks Spanish. Mm. Uh, that person was surprised about the fact that also I speak Spanish. Oh, I didn't know that in Europe you speak Spanish. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> ah. I didn't know what to I think answer. It's the same person who wrote this question. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <Probably. Yeah. laughs> Ah, like chancla? I'm quite wild or savage, but I used to be in my bare feet all the time. Ah. But actually, we go inside the homes with also old shoes. Yeah, yeah, I, I think this one probably just depends on the family. That's the reason why I think all the Spanish moms, they turn crazy. <laughs> Cleaning. Cleaning all the time. Yeah, I mean, they, that is minimum one, two times per day. And the worst thing is after you have an evolution, when you are younger, you are like, oh, mama, why? Okay. Like, oh, why do I have to take my but shoes off? After you run posavasos. Ah, okay, okay. So you run to put it like that and your friend's like, oh, what oh, can no, I do? No, like, you're talking about the coaster. Oh, yeah, like yeah. you are your mom now. It's like, yes. <laughs> yeah, like you I, I get it. start to be conscious about the cleaning and stuff. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I think this is this is American style. Also. Uh, well, because we have that famous thing about being relaxed and arrive late. Mm. That is quite true, but it's not something that you consider is positive. We know that is not a good <laughs> habit. It's like we know it's not good. Yeah, it's, and for jobs and all the serious stuff, it's like people take care to not arrive late. But have to meet your friends. Time is <laughs> relative. Nine or eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I mean, the party is going to end maybe at six of the morning, so you have much time. At at eight, 
still done in some places. Respect, dude. <laughs> yes, and I think it's fantastic. <laughs> it's on a little bit weird, but cute. Like, for example, Superman. Superman. Yeah. Spiderman. Spiderman. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Thor. Tomb Raider. Ah, Tomb Raider. <laughs> we do all that with all the brands like Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> I like it though. It sounds so much better in Spanish. So, Hermione. Oh, this is very different. Wow, it does kind of sound like Hermes. Like something very chic. Oh, I like it. Well, this is due to the fact that English is not, you cannot read as you write. That's true. But Spanish is like yeah, that. Yeah, it's read as it's, as it's written. It is some things, movies nowadays, that we don't translate everything because in the past, due to the dictature, it, it was an obligation to translate everything. That's why all the movies are with uh, Spanish boys acting. Yeah, yeah, we dinner late. But it's, it's because of the hours of the sun. Days are so long. They prefer to dinner, for example, at six. The truth is, I suffer because 40 degrees during the summer, trying to dinner with that sun is like, you don't have the feeling that it's a dinner. It depends on the area. Probably you're going to find some shops close, but not everywhere. And it, it has a reason. It's also because the duration of the jobs, it's so long, so you yeah. could be exhausted. Mm -hmm. And especially from 12 to maybe four, it's so hot. Yeah, and I believe it's common to take a break from like school sometimes or from work and you go take like an hour or two to eat, take a rest, like, yeah. yeah. You also try to do other stuff. There is yeah. people that they think is only the siesta time, but mm. only, maybe there is some people that only they have this time mm. to do stuff at home. So it's not only a siesta time, it's a time that you are doing other stuff that right. are important in your life. Mm. Yeah, we have something called sobremesa. Sobremesa. That time that you end your food, and I think also we eat a lot. You cannot move. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> eat yourself into a small coma, yeah. so you have and to chill. In my family, I really appreciate this time because it's the moment that we can talk as people, mm -hmm. normal people, share our day or things, mm -hmm. and that makes the family closer. So, we so share. this is kind of like your downtime with your family to really just relax yeah. after a meal. It's also kindness to the person that was cooking because ah, that yeah. person was going to the supermarket and putting the time and the love to make you food. And you do like this and you go, no? Ah. At least make some company. Um, I love that. That's really cool. That's so fun. Yeah, I think we laugh a lot. <laughs> I think, yeah, we laugh a lot. I like this one. This is cool. So I really enjoyed listening to kind of like her perspective. I think it is a country that can be interesting in the language. Not many people know that we speak other languages. Oh, I arrived to Barcelona and I didn't know that they were speaking Catalan. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. So today I learned a little bit about Spanish culture. If you have more to share, please leave them on the comments. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Will you see you soon? Bye. Bye.